So we're gonna do the wheel of behaviors today. What ends up happening with these videos is I go, okay, let's do this dog with this behavior. That's what I think is good for the people. And I wanna just be variable with it, but it's hard. So what we have here is a fun thing, okay? We have every dog that is training here with us. Enzo, Fiona, Haru, Maverick, blah, 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 blah. Then we have a bunch of different behaviors. We have loose leash walking, jumping, stay, place, scent work, that's fun. Trick, I'll train a trick. So like if I get Maverick, who is this nervous dog and a trick, that's something I would never pick. But maybe you own a Maverick and you wanna train a trick, okay? And then I've got two questions from a couple people. Marsha Reed question and the Allison S question. So we're gonna spin, we're gonna see what it lands on. Oh, I've got my daughter doing, um, um, Brinley doing a trick with my dog Prince on here too. So we're gonna spin, I'm gonna make the video, and we'll see how it goes, because I don't know how it's gonna go. All right, you guys ready? All right, here we go. And if it lands on a dog, I'm then gonna pick the behavior. Okay, or the behavior in the dog. So we've got loose leash walking, now we've got to find a dog to do it with. Could be any dog. Haru is still nervous of me. That's gonna be a tough one. We're gonna see how it goes. So it's now gotta be a dog. No matter what, I'm gonna keep spinning till it's a dog. Brinley trick. Sorry, we gotta do loose leash walking. We gotta find a dog. L loose leash walking again. Marsha Reed's question. Marsha Reed's question. We lost the piece. Loose leash walking. It's gonna take forever. Sophie. Sophie. Sophie, okay. That took a long time. Loose leash walking with Sophie. Sophie is a dog that just got here yesterday and hey, she needs loose leash walking very bad. Let's do it. Okay, so the wheel of fate landed on Sophie and loose leash walking, which is actually great because Sophie's here for loose leash walking. So that worked out well for you guys, for me, but it would have been fun to do Maverick and a trick because that's very hard. All right, she's here for off leash. They want to try to get to an off leash walking as well. So you gotta get loose leash walking before off leash walking. So we're gonna do loose leash walking with a tough dog. Is she a polar? What do you think? Look at this dog. She's young, she's strong, she pulls. I have my gentle leader, I have my treats. I don't know if I'll use either. First off, I don't like when dogs sit there and lean on you and take their tail and touch you. You know why they do that, a lot of them? Because they can feel you. And then they can sit at the end of the leash and they can look wherever they want because they go, oh, that guy's right there. I can touch him on the tail. So the first thing I do is move and leave him on a loose leash. Make your choice in life. Dog, don't, you have to look at me to know where I am. That's why I don't give Tons of cues and that's why I don't let the dogs touch me. I want them to have to look at me on a loose leash. I did a video two days ago with her about that stuff. So this is sort of the natural progression of, of going into loose leash walking. Sophie, sit. Good, new dog, she's only been here two days. Let's, young dog. I'm gonna move, she lied down. They do this all the time. She sits, she's, uh-uh. We're gonna deal with this. I got her up a little bit. Come here, sit. Stay, stay. So what you're gonna do with your dog, okay? Oh, what a nice stayer. Let's reinforce, if you don't have treats, you can say, good girl, don't do this. Oh, but she's staying so good. Oh, what a good girl, Sophie. That often gets them up. Give them a verbal good or a treat. Okay, oh, she's doing good, this is good. Now, a little out in front. I wanna teach a new dog, a young dog, generally the leash and the rules of the leash. The rule is you can't just leave me. Am I gonna be hardcore with a young dog like this? Not really, is she leaving me? Yes, but see how she was looking at me right there. Good, I'm gonna up the treats when she's, there was a hesitation, you saw her kinda of get in front. Now is she starting to look at me? Guys, this is an improvement. Those mo couple corrections in that video I did two days ago is quite an improvement. 
from, for this dog. These, this method works quick if you do it right. Now we're up, sort of in an un, let's release her to go potty. I don't think she needs to go. Okay, come on. And sometimes when I release them to go potty, I just kind of stand there and just say, do your thing, smell the bushes, whatever. I don't talk about a lot because I'm so focused on so many people have reactivity that you've got to be hardcore about reactivity. You can't be letting them smell everywhere and do whatever they want. Oh, but my dog has to pee. Okay, great. Walk and then give them, go to their favorite spot, give them opportunities to pee, then walk and give them opportunities to pee. You can't just let them cruise because they need to smell, they, they, they want to smell. Or that, why would they not freak out at that dog? Okay, okay. We'll do this all day. She wants to leave, she's gonna get a correction. She might have a little limp. Sit. Good girl. Good girl, could just be the rocks. God, you a good girl? You a good girl? She's been playing hard. Dogs sometimes, they're like people or kids, they get a little. Looks like her rear right, she has a little limp. That doesn't mean the rules don't apply. She's probably just playing hard. I'm not, I'm not too worried. Sophie, sit. Good, okay, we're gonna go back. Nothing in her paw. We're gonna go back, let's walk back now. Okay, come on. That was, come on Sophie. Come on, come on, come on. The rules still apply. Good, yeah, she definitely has a little limp. We're gonna see if, it, if she still has it down here on the normal surface. Rear right is what's going on. Come on, come on. Some dogs don't like certain surfaces. Nope, still got it. Okay, so we're not gonna do a long walk. We're gonna go a little R&R &R with this dog. And in a day, my guess is this dog doesn't have a limp. That's how this thing works. I do not rush my dog, nor do I rush board and train dogs to the vet because they have a limp. I don't rush my kids to the vet ever or to the doctor if they have a small cut or if their arm hurts, right? Unless it's serious. This, I believe she's been playing too hard because she's been playing hard. And sometimes also they just get a little worn pad. All right, so that's the video of Sophie doing loose leash walking. I'm gonna do this again. We're gonna keep doing this with the wheel of faith. Now you just saw Sophie do loose leash walking. We're gonna do another one, ready? So we can't do loose leash walking again, and we can't do Sophie again. Here we go, we've got question, we've got questions on here, we've got my daughter doing a trick, we've got all the dogs here, we've got clicker training, I think, or maybe we might have taken that off, we've got training a trick, we've got a lot of stuff. Okay, yep, clicker training, and then we'll pick a random dog. We've got all kinds of fun stuff. Ready? Coming. So now we have to have a dog. It says, if, this, if we pick Haru, who's nervous of me, or Maverick, you're gonna see a difficult recall session, which is what you guys want. Oh. Okay. Actually, Maverick comes okay. Okay, Maverick is the dog I've been doing a bunch of videos with. Super nervous, but not nervous of me anymore. So this could be great. This could not be great. We're gonna let Maverick go. I've got my treats. We're gonna do recall. How am I gonna deal with a scared dog that doesn't come to me? You think I'm gonna do the same method with that one-year-old dog who's like, I just feel like smelling, forget you, Joel. No, no, no. That's the go get him, bring him back where you asked him from. This is Maverick. If Go back to Maverick. I did three videos over the last four days with Maverick. This is a different deal entirely. So this is what you guys need to see, what you wanna see. All right, Maverick coming. Okay, Maverick coming to me. This is the dog that was attacked by three German Shepherds. I heard five, but I talked to the owners, it was three. 
three out of she, the guy had five German shepherds. The three are the one that attacked him down in a ravine. All right. The wheel was here. So when he came out, the wheel scared him. So we moved the wheel and we're going to do recalling with Maverick. All right, buddy, you ready to go? You want to run around? You want to run around? Okay, let's go. We're down in the pasture. We've got Maverick doing the recall. By the way, he was chased by these German shepherds into a ravine. The owner couldn't get him back. She had to chase him because he was so scared, which I get. So this is a good behavior for him. All right, so here we go. Let's go, Maverick, coming to me, nervous dog. Maverick, come. What a good boy. What a good boy, Maverick. What a good boy. Maverick, what a nice boy. Okay, I also offered him treats as he got close. I was like, to bridge that gap, I was like, here, have these, which he doesn't want. I don't care. This is, this is good for you guys to see. It's good for you to see the cue with a nervous dog and the criteria. I could have, and I probably will next time, kind of get up, try to get him and kind of ease him back to where I asked him from. But I just like the fact that he came that much. Now we'll see if we can't get it a little bit better, okay? Maverick's peeing, let's give it a second. And... Maverick, come! Maverick! Come on, buddy! Maverick, Maverick, come on, what a good boy. Maverick, Maverick, good boy, you're okay. Mav, you're okay, buddy. Good boy, that's our best boy. I love it, I love the lie down. That's so good, that's so good. And I think Maverick likes me, so this can be reinforcing. Just, so, by the way, the go get method, I haven't talked to you guys about this. You go get them. I'm not doing the go get method, but you go get them. Eventually, they lie down. They stop running away. They lie down. That's the middle of the road good part. They lie down. Then they start coming. So there is almost always a stop the runaway. They run away. You go get them. You run away. You go to. You run. They run away. They stop. You go get them. Then eventually they start to come. They stop. You go get them. Then eventually they come. All I've talked about is really go get, go get, go get. There's these middle of the road progressions to it. That was kind of one of them where they just don't run away anymore and they just stop. So the first one was really good. With dog like Maverick, you're not gonna have this consistent getting better. You're gonna have these moments of regression and fear. What a nice boy he is. So then the reinforcement is just gonna be me sitting here with him. See that flinch? That's just Maverick. He's a, such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Okay, Maverick. Okay, you can go. Do whatever you want whatever you want. So that's your go get video. Well, not really. That's your recall video with Maverick. It landed, the wheel landed on Maverick. It landed on recall. I would never have picked that to make a video. That's why we're doing this wheel thing, the spinny thing. All right, don't forget to um, hit the bell so you know my new videos are up. Like, comment, subscribe.